From trauma to joie de vivre, how is that possible? Welcome to Post Trauma Secrets and Decluttering, where we go behind the scene and reveal how to free yourself. Come and discover the four dimensions of a decluttering journey with your hosts, Valerie Huard and J.M. Tetro. Hello, wonderful souls. We are so thrilled to do this podcast for you. If it's okay with you, we'd like to start by sharing a story with you so you understand who we are. Many years ago, we were a young couple with two toddlers where Valerie was suffering from PTSD and I was in the military. We were trying to have a normal relationship and family life. We really wanted to get over Valerie's trauma so we wouldn't have to divorce or go each on a different journey. We wanted to be able to overcome the wounds from the trauma and have a normal life and a future together. The thing is, we were wanting to move, but we had way too much stuff. Also, I wasn't able to overcome the wounds and symptoms from the trauma, let alone have a normal life so that we can have a future together. To make things worse, we felt terrible when the movers came and said that they can't move all that stuff. I felt even worse about the situation because I was still going to garage shells every weekend to accumulate more stuff. I felt stuck, exhausted, and hopeless. The problem was that we had three months to declutter a full house with more than 24,000 pounds of stuff. Can you imagine that? Which meant suddenly we had to let go half of our belonging, our safe environment, our nest, our fur. We were on the clock to get rid of all that stuff. Then, as if by chance, something amazing happened. We started to declutter and realized that by decluttering, Valerie was getting in touch with her emotion and was feeling more energized. All that to understand clutter as a strong power on your state of mind. It was now crystal clear to us how decluttering your space helps decluttering your mind. Because of that journey, Valerie can finally overcome her trauma and we can consider a happier life. We also learned that doing it alone doesn't work. You need to find someone you trust to help you. As a result, we decluttered our space and we accepted to have friends helping us, but I also accepted to connect to my emotions in therapy. After we did that, we find out that our life was simpler and less stressful. We can then move to our next house, letting the trauma and the stuff behind. The move made us realize that the secret to normal relationship was to overcome the trauma and being in touch with your emotions, but also declutter your space. Our plan was to not accumulate stuff anymore. So Valerie started avoiding garage sales, but we didn't stop there. We then stopped buying everything we see when shopping. After that, we got storage to put away the extra stuff. But there was still a problem. We had that extra stuff and got more cabinets and bookshelves because there were still multiple objects arriving in our life. More we were accumulating stuff, the more I was suffering from my PTSD symptom. We ended up getting so frustrated that we decided to create a system to declutter and organize on a regular basis. We choose to call it Do Well for decluttering and organizing well. We thought if we could create something that would make it possible to help other people suffering from trauma to cope with it, we'd really be happy. We then started to let other people suffering from trauma use do well. After a year of getting through our notes, thoughts and results of helping other decluttering, we published our book, Put That Stuff Down. We can now help more people improve their quality of life and free themselves from trauma. As a result of all this, we were able to achieve the following. Our life is simpler and way more enjoyable. We've started an amazing community that use our system to help themselves in their recovering journey. 
After creating Do Well, Valerie had overcome her PTSD at a point that our family is not affected anymore. And I've also been able to stop being overstressed. And in the end, all of this means we are now able to enjoy very valuable time with our family and spend time doing the things that we really enjoy, like traveling and looking forward to getting back in our tidy home. Now that you know our story, I think that it is important that we share with you why we are starting a podcast now, at this point, on a journey. First of all, we weren't ready to open our secret before. We know people need a way out. And current circumstances, you know, COVID, people are asking us more about the decluttering journey. It will help us bring all the ideas around the journey in one place with this podcast. You know what? My deepest desire is to help over a million people improve their quality of life. And that is my mission. It started a long time ago by helping people around me, volunteering, adopted two children with special needs, and now with this podcast. I just want to reach to you and help you understand that it is possible to free yourself from trauma and to improve your quality of life. At this point, I guess most of you notice that we both have an accent. Yes, that's true. We are proud Francophone, English-speaking Canadian. And we are fully committed to give you the best content. This podcast will bring you on a decluttering journey. A decluttering journey is kind of like going on a vacation in another country. You plan it, and when you finally get to go, you're a bit stressed and excited at the same time. When you are over there, you relax and enjoy every moment. You discover new places and first thing you know, it's over. But during that vacation, you grew. You discovered and learned new things and you had time to relax. At the end, you're satisfied and feeling good. We will talk about topics such as negative talk, mindset, reframing, so that we can clear our mind and increase our self-esteem together. We will also discuss stress coping strategy, reducing stress and mindfulness, because it is so important to take action in this stressful situation. As you must guess, we will explain the relation between clutter and stress and clutter and trauma, and later on, bring you different strategy to tidying up your own. There are so many things we want to share about routine, sleep habits, healthy lifestyle to help you get control over your time. At the end, in some episode, Valerie and I will be your host. In other, Valerie will be alone host or I will be. Sometime we'll bring guest expert to give you the maximum value. Whatever the format we choose, our aim is to really bring you light on ideas and concepts that will help you the most in your journey. Thank you so much for taking time to listen to this episode. If you want to help break the trauma stigma, share this episode and give hope to your friends and let them know it is possible to get free from trauma. Valerie and JM want to help you further by offering you Declutter Your Life 101. Be sure to go to dowellht.com forward slash free yourself. That's dowellht.com forward slash free yourself to get your free quick summary and start your decluttering journey. Thanks again for tuning in and be sure to join us next time to discover another secret on post-trauma secrets and decluttering.